Yo, what's happening, sports people? Check it out. Um, I'm back again with your little, you know, championship weekend preview. Um, you know, championship week started off tonight. Um, I think we got Oregon and Utah playing for the Pac-12 championship tonight. Um, didn't make any predictions on that because whoever wins, they're not going to be in the top four anyway. Um, speaking of the top four, didn't I tell y'all that the college football committee is going to lose their damn mind this week? And when I say lose their mind, who, you know, who would have imagined that they would have put Michigan at number two? Um, Michigan, you know, number two is way too high for Michigan because all they did was beat Ohio State. And yeah, I said it. Yeah, all they did, and then I'll say it again, all they did was beat Ohio State. Okay? And if you guys have been watching my videos over the last, you know, little while, you know, I'm not that high, you know, I'm not that high on Ohio State because I feel like, you know, the committee kind of, you know, wills Ohio State to be in the top four every year. So, that being said, I really, you know, I really don't think, you know, they're going to hold, Michigan's going to hold that number two position. Um, the big game this weekend is definitely going to be the SEC championship. And um, with Bama and Georgia, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go ahead and stick with Bama on that game. But I'll tell you what, um, I'm really, you know, the only concern, you know, really, and the only hope for Georgia is if their defense, you know, shows up like they've been showing up all year. Because I kind of feel like, you know, Georgia's defense against the freshman quarterback and Bryce Young, you know, that might might be a little tough for the kid. But I'll go ahead and say this too. If Bryce Young, you know, happens to beat, you know, Georgia tomorrow, um, Heisman Committee, you might well go ahead and walk the trophy down to that kid because beating Georgia's defense is definitely saying something. Um, now, Cincinnati, they came in at number four, which, you know, I, not, that's not too bad. Um, they may have a tough time with the AAC championship this weekend coming up. They got to play the U of H. And, you know, yeah, the U of H, they, you know, they had a good run this season. Um, I really can't see them, you know, I really can't see them beating Cincy this year because, it, to me, this is Cincy's year. You know, the last two, three years, they've been knocking on the door of the playoffs. So I think finally, you know, they're going to push through Houston. I, I'm, I'm not going to say they're going to blow them out. But it's, it might be a convincing win, and I'll tell you this much: um, since he's, you know, since he's going to play, for, you know, they're going to play in the playoff this year. I'm really confident in that. Um, like I said, the only team I feel like is going to be, you know, pushed out of the top four is going to be Michigan because I think the, you know, if the, if Michigan loses to Iowa, I think the committee will frown on that a whole lot more than they're going to frown, on, you know, than they're going to frown on whoever loses the Georgia Alabama game. Because even the loser of the Georgia Bama game is, still, you know, I think they'll still crack the top four. I mean, call me crazy, but you know, it's happened before. You know, um, Texas. Oh yeah, <laughs> my brother wanted me to get on something, you know, earlier this year, and kind of, you know, it kind of shocked me because, you know, this thing with the coaching moves that happened, you know, a couple of days ago. Um, Lincoln Riley going to USC and Brian Kelly, you know, coming down to LSU. Um, Dude, I tell you what, I never, I never saw that happening. Um, you know, I didn't think Lincoln Riley was unhappy with you know Oklahoma, and I know the fan base was happy with him. But come to find out, that move to the SEC that Oklahoma is going to be doing that, you know, Lincoln Riley wasn't in favor of it, so off he goes. You know, he's going to be going to USC, and you know, man, yeah, I feel like he's going to rebuild USC. I mean, Lincoln Riley's a good, you know, he's a good young coach, so. You know, I'm, you know, I can't, you know, I can't clown him for it because, hey, if you don't want to go to the SEC, hey, you got to move around. Um, Brian Kelly, on the other hand, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, was was he bored at Notre Dame? You know, was he looking for another challenge? Because, you know, to me, that that seems to be the only reason for him to leave that job at Notre Dame. You know, so like I said, it's kind of, you know. It's kind of sad that these coaches, you know, they go and recruit these kids and then, you know, they, they stay in the program. You know, these kids come, you know, because that, you know, they come because they want to come play for that coach. And then the coach gets unhappy and, you know, up and leaves. And thank God for the transfer portal, portal that these kids can, you know, they can move on to. If the, you know, if the coach or the, the staff changes or if they're just unhappy about playing time or things of that nature, hey, why not pick up and leave too? So, like I said, I you know, I really can't, you know, 
I really can't say nothing too bad about the coaching moves because, hey, you know, I, un- I understand why they're doing it. But, um, hey, check this out, guys. I'm going to go you know, I'm gonna wrap this up for now, get back in here and watch this, you know, the Pac-12 championship game. Um, I'm sure we're all going to be watching tomorrow. Um, check it out. I hope you guys enjoy it, and um, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.